Well, New York City's top drug prosecutor has a weed warning for the Empire State. She says if medical marijuana is legalized, there could be more dispensaries than Starbucks. She points to other states like California as a warning of what might happen if a law in favor of pot were to pass. Bridget Brennan is the New York City Special Narcotics Prosecutor and joins us this morning. Bridget, nice to see you. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Uh, what do you think the biggest problem with this legalizing marijuana and opening these dispensaries is? Well, I think the number one problem is that me uh, marijuana has not been proven to be an effective medicine. So that it's not been authorized by the FDA and all the scientific support just isn't there. It's being marketed, uh, lobbied as medical marijuana. But the marijuana that we've seen, at least that's been seized in California, and some of the dispensaries there has nothing to do with medicine. It's loaded with pesticides, it's loaded with fungus, and it's really harmful to sick people. Now, I've seen what happened in Colorado personally, and pot is everywhere in the state of Colorado, and it's not being used, as you pointed out, strictly for medicinal purposes. But there are people that suffer from glaucoma, from AIDS, from cancer, that do need this. So are you against legalizing marijuana in all cases? I'm 100% uh, for effective treatment for people who are sick, for people who have illnesses, and who have physical discomfort that can really be aided by something like marijuana. But the question is, is marijuana really the right thing for them? Uh, and is this uh, proposal to allow for medical marijuana really just in a sense a, a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm -hmm. So having these dispensaries, I mean that just blows my mind, right? You could go there and just like get a bag of chips, it's, you know, like Andy Capps hot fries or a soda and you'd have these medical marijuana dispensaries. Do you see crime related to this? Oh, absolutely. As a matter of fact, in LA on Thursday, there were two homicides in two of the medical marijuana dispensaries there. That's two homicides five hours apart in L.A. What happened? Well, uh, the L.A. Police Department is still investigating. They're not sure what happened, but there are some suggestions that they may be gang-related robberies, that there may be some kind of cartel involvement. Mm. Because remember, when they've gone mm -hmm. in and looked at the marijuana that seized there, much of it is coming from Mexico. It's not legally grown marijuana. It's the same pot that's out on the street. And California recently closed 437 dispensaries, so clearly there is not something, they, they did not quite figure out how to implement this policy. And you're out to stop the bill in New York. Uh, thank you for being here this morning. Thank we you appreciate so much. It.